Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin and in today's video I'm going to give you an overview of our new visual email editor. So this email editor will be available in Wellness Living anywhere in the system that you can edit emails like automated marketing, notifications, quick contact, the attendance list, and the all clients tab. So for today's video I'm going to show you this in automated marketing. So to get here just click on the app drawer and then select marketing. If you don't have it pinned here like I do you can always click on view all and then find it under M. So I'm just going to open up our lead capture template and we will create a brand new one. So when you want to use the new email editor, you can scroll down to the bottom here where you would normally put the body of your email and you'll see that you can still access the standard editing options here at the top, just in case that's what you prefer to use. But to open up that new email editor, you'll just want to click on the visual editor button here. So once this window pops up, you can start to build your campaign. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through the available options and then I'll come back and show you a campaign that I built using this editor. So since this email already has some content in it, let's go ahead and select that just by clicking on it. And we'll go ahead and we'll delete it just down at the bottom here like that. So now we've got a completely blank template that we can use to start building our campaign. Anything that you add to this template that you want to delete, you can do the same thing. Just find the piece you want to delete, click on it, and you can click on that trash can icon. So over on the right hand side, there are some different options that you can click through here for content, blocks, body, and images. So we'll start with content. So in this area, you'll find all the different types of content that you can add. Content in this scenario doesn't just have to be written text. You've also got things like columns, you can add buttons, you can add images right from here, or even options like menus if you wanna have some items that you want clients to be able to click on, either to take them to a web page, send your business an email, or dial your business if they're clicking on it from their mobile device. So the really cool thing about this editor is all of these elements here are drag and drop. So let's go ahead and add a heading. So I'll just click and drag and drop it right there at the top. And it just says heading. So when I drop that element here and then I click on it, a couple of things happen. So there's a toolbar here that pops up with some basic text styling options. And then there's also a menu on the right hand side that allows me to further customize this specific content block at the top of the menu here you'll see this smart headings area and it's got this little green symbol with a few diamonds in it. When you see the symbol beside any type of content, it means that you can use this editor's built-in AI to help you write or reword your text. And in some cases, even create images. Let's click on get suggestions. Let's say that I wanted it to say something like, welcome to Moonlight Yoga Studio. So I've typed in the text that I have, and now I want to make this sound a little bit more exciting with the help of AI. So what I'm gonna do with my prompt in there is click on get suggestions. And so it'll generate some ideas for me that you can just click on here to add them right into your content block. And you can even change the tone of this. So if you have a few words and you wanna have those sort of reworded for you by the AI assistant, you can go ahead, we could choose relaxed maybe. And then that would give us some different options. So maybe we can select that one and it'll insert it for me here. So whether you choose to use the AI functionality or not, you can always scroll down this menu for those additional text styling options. So you can change things like the heading type, the font that you're using, the font size, the color, and even more. You can also change the alignment, nice and simple. So lots of options here to explore. One of the cool things too here is when you're working on your template, you can also preview what it will look like either on the desktop version. So if a client was looking at this on the computer, or you can also look at what it would look like on a mobile device. So something like a cell phone, you would be able to click on the mobile tab and you can actually see a preview of what this will look like for someone that's receiving this by email. So it's a nice way to kind of look at both and make sure that everything looks good. To get back to the main menu, all you have to do is click on the little X here, and then you'll be able to see all of your content options again. So back on the content menu, now you can see that there's that same green icon when you add text and images and buttons. So for any of these, you can use the AI assistant to help you generate content. So let's look at blocks next. So blocks are what you'll use if you want to divide a section vertically into columns. So there we've got one, this one's split in half, so it makes two. And you can also click on all and have a whole bunch of different options as well. So let's say that I wanna add a section that has an image beside some text. So I'll choose that block that's divided into two. I'll drag and drop it. And now you can go ahead and select what type of content block you wanna to add to each of these halves. So we'll say maybe I want an image 
I'll drop that there and we can configure it after. And then I could go ahead and select the text block on this side and you'll see that they sit beside each other rather than one on top of the other. So next let's look at the body section. So this is where you're able to apply settings to the entire email instead of individually customizing each piece of content that you wanna add. So you can choose things like the text color or background color, the content alignment, so you can make it all centered or you can make it left aligned and other settings like that. If you wanna change your text or your background color, all you have to do here is click on the box and then you can either select a color, any one that you want, or if you have a hex code for a specific brand color that you like to use, that you'd like to be the background of this email, you can go ahead and type that in here. If I wanna change it to white or even like a blue color, you can do that. So that's all you have to do for these types of options. You just click right into the box. And then finally we have images. So to add images to your email, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. First way is to go to content and drag in an image. So you can kind of put that wherever you want, maybe here. Once it's in there and you click on it, then you are going to be able to use either the AI assistant to generate images, which we'll look at in a moment, or you can also upload an image from here. And if you click on more images, you can also access the huge library of stock photos that can be used for your campaigns. The second way to add in an image is to click on your images tab down here on the right, and this will open up a stock photo library. So if you see one here that you want to use, you can also search at the top. You can go ahead and you can drag it and you can drop it wherever you want in your email. And then you can also go ahead and resize it on the image menu as well. So the AI option is also available here on the images tab. So let's just take a quick peek at what this looks like. So to access the AI for images, just click here on see the magic. And then all you'd have to do is go ahead and put in your prompt and then you would be able to click next and generate some images based on the prompt that you've given to the AI. One of the things I recommend you keep in mind is that the images that are generated by AI are not real photographs. So just make sure that you take a really good look at them to make sure that the images look realistic before you go ahead and use them in your campaign. I'll close out of here. And that covers the overview of the options that are available here in the new email editor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my email campaign using the options that we looked at today, as well as some additional ones, and we'll compare it to the original. So just as a reminder, here's what our campaign looked like when we first started, and that was built using the basic email editor and automated marketing. And then this is the campaign that I just built using our new visual email editor. So the actual written content is exactly the same as I had originally, but I added some of these really cool elements that we talked about. I added a button that takes clients right to our memberships page in our online store. I added some images and then I also added a menu at the bottom. So clients can tap on this to dial their phone number from their cell phone. They can send us an email right from whatever email client they're using, or they can be taken right to our website. And I made sure to include the unsubscribe link as well. One of the cool things with this as well is that all the variables that you would have been using previously in your email campaigns will still work here. So I made sure to use ones like business name, the email subject, and then of course we always personalize it to our client. So I like to use that first name variable. So once your campaign is built, there's something really important to note here. So in the visual editor pop-up, which is this one, when you're done, you have to click save in the bottom right corner. We'll say, yes, we want to override the existing template. And then when you're ready, you've got the rest of your email send rules and everything else is ready to go. You want to make sure that you hit save again. So this is the point where either your email is ready to go out or you can always go ahead and make sure this is not activated at this time, make any changes that you want and then activate it when you're ready. But the important part here is that you have to click save twice in order for your campaign to save when you use that new visual editor. And so this is ready to go. So in this video, we covered some of the elements that are available to you with our new visual email editor and hopefully provided some inspiration for building your first campaign. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.